What is going on guys? This is Ben here, bringing another Brawl Stars video. Today, we're going to talk about everything about the next Brawl Stars update. We're going to go over my update wish list, maybe when we can expect to see the next update, maybe even the Brawl Talk, and everything else like that. So hopefully you guys are excited. Let me know if you guys agree or some of the things that you would like to see in the next update. And uh, let's dive into this. So the first thing I want to talk about is balance changes. So I'm not going to go over all of the balance changes that I want to see. I might make a separate balance change video what I specifically want to see. But this is the main point that I really want to see change in the next update, which obviously pretty much every time we get an update, we get a balance change. So I for sure first want to see a huge nerf to Band-Aid Shelly. I think it is probably the most broken thing in the game right now in terms of basically having two lives with Shelly. Uh, it was kind of like the exact opposite though, where Shelly was one of the worst brawlers, but then she got a new Band-Aid star power and now she's one of the best brawlers. So Band-Aid is just a little bit too ridiculous. I don't think it should heal her up all the way. Maybe it takes her to like, I don't know, like half health or something like that. Um, and maybe lower when she does get her Band-Aid. I don't know, it's just kind of crazy. Or maybe even, maybe increase the time it takes to get the Band-Aid, like 40 seconds. I don't know, I just think Bandit is a little bit too crazy right now and one of the best star powers for sure. Uh, the next one I want to see is a, a nerf to Mortis's dash. Um, it's nice, but I think it's a little bit too overwhelming. Not Mortis's regular dash, I'm talking about the star power dash, um, Coiled Snake. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit too long. It's kind of crazy how big the dash was and I was dead wrong on the prediction that, yeah, it's nice. But having to wait for all three of your main attack charges, it's not going to be that ridiculous. But it kind of is. So a nerf to that one. Uh, overall, like I think like the brawlers themselves, the balance is pretty good. It's just mainly balancing these new star powers, which I think is going to be a lot in the next balance changes. Like improving some of them, um, making some of them worse. Because I think ideally, what you would want is every brawler's star powers to be kind of equal powered. Instead of just having like one overpowered star power and one star power that sucks. Uh, I think that's kind of not the greatest way to go about it because you want them to be equal power right so i feel like the next balance change a lot is going to be about the basically the star powers because the brawlers themselves they're all fairly pretty balanced which is good um and then one just side note i would just like a total change on both of gene's star powers or at least his brand new one i just don't like how that works with them i don't think they're really super beneficial um <clears throat> i don't know they could be a lot better maybe even just like a star power from when Jean drags a brawler, it stuns them for a little bit, or they can't shoot for a couple seconds or something after. I think that would be cool. Or maybe even a, even a slow when they try to run away. Stuff like that. Uh, now I want to get into the next point. It's everyone's favorite thing to talk about. It is a new brawler. I've said it in the last update wish list. I really want another brawler <clears throat> that is able to either like put up a block or a wall or repair walls or any some sort of things a brawler that creates walls or objects because and i'm not talking about like turrets i'm not talking about like a pam turret or a jesse turret or a mortar i'm talking about literally like a defensive wall you can throw it up um, and he creates those with his super i think that would be awesome uh obviously there's and numerous other ideas maybe like teleporting or other things that could be added for brawler supers and whatnot but i want to see something that creates walls because there's so many brawlers that destroy walls but for the new brawler rarity i think it's probably good if you look at the brawler rarities we have right now so we currently have nine trophy road brawlers they just added one tick last time so i don't think they're going to add a trophy road brawler for a while we have four rare brawlers we have four super rare brawlers we have four epic brawlers we have three mythic brawlers and we have three legendary brawlers you see like how oh, two things kind of aren't like the other so i feel like next brawler is either going to be a legendary it or is it or it is going to be a mythic and then the next time we get a new brawler it's going to be the opposite so i think it's going to be let's say next update we get a legendary brawler then i think the update after that we're going to get a mythic brawler to keep it four four and four that's just what i think because it seems as though it's going towards that trend. We have four, 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 three, three. So probably legendary, probably mythic. Uh, we will see. And it's been a very long time since we had a legendary brawler or mythic with uh, Leon or Jean. So I think it's a good chance we'll get one of those. So that's all I really know so far in that um, and just kind of speculation, but expect to see a mythic or legendary. So start saving up your boxes now. So the next thing I want to talk about is the matchmaker. I'm not talking about the trophy system. I really like the trophy system. I think it's awesome that previously people were scared to kind of like play their 500 trophy brawlers of fear of like dropping them below 500 and random teammates and all the 
teaming in showdown which still happens but uh i feel like it's increased a lot of playability and people are starting to push and whatnot and having a little bit better time with it because it's not as scary to push it's not as stressful i mean you know if like you go on and i think it helped the random matchmaker a lot but the thing that i want to talk about the matchmaker wise is for modes like gem grab siege and bounty and all this stuff uh so specifically let's look at gem grab I think it's imperative that they're gonna they should add these like kind of like behind the scene roles for every brawler in the game so for instance let's say uh for jesse you kind of classify her as a gem grab for for Bo, you kind of just classify him as a gem carrier as well same with penny pam poco you guys get the idea and then for brawlers like rosa primo daryl um shelly you kind of give them like a little bit of like a a, a, a girl brawlers, a, a brawler that's kind of like more of sort of a lane or, or brawlers that are typically not going to be your gem carriers. The matchmaker tries to get these brawlers on a team where it's like they have a gem carrier and they have a couple laner brawlers. So it's it's more fair. It's not just like totally random and you got to make do because it sucks when you're playing a, a game and the enemy team has like an actual team comp and you're just going in with all mid to short range brawlers and you can't really do much. So if the matchmaker has defined roles for brawlers and it tries to match them as best as it can to put them on a team to make it fair, I think that would be awesome. I know Supercell has talked in the past about wanting their matchmaker to be quick times as short as possible. As, as long as like this doesn't add too much time to it, I feel like it can be done. Just take a quick look at the brawlers that are all matching up and try and obviously put them on a team. I think that would be cool. I think it would help out a lot with random matchmaking. Uh, and another thing with the matchmaking is being able to tell what enemies are using their star power or like what enemies have star power and what star power it is because right now when you face a mortis let's say and you don't know if he has that long dash right off the start you don't know how you have to play like he, it's kind of it's kind of crazy but i feel like there should be a little a like, slight window like you guys know when the brawlers first pop up like telling them which star power they have on obviously that might take a little memorization of which icon is which but it's better than nothing, at least if you memorize them, you have that slight advantage of knowing which star, star power they're using. Uh, or you could even have it under each brawler, like, little icon. But I think it would be better off the match start, uh, because, like, you, you would like to know if Band-Aid has, or Shelly has Band-Aid, you know? So now the next thing I would like to see is improvements to Showdown. And what I mean by that is fixing teaming. Uh, having some sort of negative consequence for teaming or more incentives for people to not team or just have energy drink 24 7 for showdown uh, not literally but just having it way more often because I feel like the only game mode that I really don't see teaming a lot is energy drink and that's because once you get an energy drink you can take out anyone uh, I don't know and then the, another thing is like currently you guys may not know this up in high trophy range like when you get your brawlers to like a thousand or stuff like that and you're playing showdown there's like, there's a bunch of group of team or, or a bunch of people grouping up on like calls and they're all matching at the same time because the small group of players that are around a thousand trophies, they'll be able to get into the same games like over and over again. And basically they'll have these organized teaming in showdown and they're on calls so they know which brawlers they are. And it's like groups of four people or so teaming up versus everyone else. You don't think that's unfair? That is unfair. So I feel like there needs to be some sort of change maybe to the trophy system in Showdown because, because before like teaming yeah was an issue but it wasn't like organized call teaming like it was. So I don't know. I just feel like something has to be done with Showdown and teaming wise because it's getting a little bit ridiculous and people are starting to organize teaming and just like pushing up their brawlers like crazy uh, because there's really no downside to it and I feel like there needs to be consequence for that stuff. Another thing I would love to see is it a little bit easier to get some star points. Whether that be like adding them to the trophy road, because let's face it right now, um, the trophy road at like, what is it, 14,500 it ends and you get like 150 gold. I feel like maybe getting rewards for star points in the trophy system would be awesome. Uh, maybe even having shop offers sometimes for star points, that would be cool. Um, maybe for gold or, I feel like that would be the best way to go about it, maybe for gold. Because once you get to the end game of Brawl Stars and your count is maxed, you just pile up on the gold. You pile up on the gold. So maybe stuff like that, or, and it would, it would be a little bit more helpful. But aside from that, we have had confirmation from Reddit posts and whatnot that the Brawl Stars team definitely want to make wants to make star powers more valuable in the future. Uh, and the kind of like examples that they gave was more skins and then maybe more rewards for them like where you can unlock like special boxes that help you progress and whatnot because some people that get star points still need to max out their brawlers and still need to get other stuff 
So why not have like offers for boxes that help you progress in the game or other stuff. And aside from that, I would love for them to add more star point skins, maybe more even customizability stuff. And this gets into more aesthetic stuff for Brawl Stars. I would love to see like you being able to pick your background. Like if you really like what I mean by the background is when you first log in and you have all your brawlers, being able to pick that. Maybe even just like emotes into the game at the match end screen. I've been harping on that for a long time. It doesn't, it's not going to hurt the in-game experience, it's just on the match end screen. If your teammates just don't want to see that, they can exit and leave right away. I would also love to see a some sort of competitive mode added into Brawl Stars, whether it be like a ranked mode, whether it be like, you know, guys know how Clash Royale has tournaments where you get 12 wins, you get special prizes and stuff like that. Some sort of maybe tournaments that you could enter in with a team or just something in the game, aside from just the trophy pushing ladder. Um, some other special things, maybe even like band or is it band clubs out of clan? So yeah, basically I would like to see club wars or more even just incentives to join a club because right now There really isn't a whole lot of an incentive to join a club aside from maybe having people to play with um, And honestly, I feel like there needs to be more incentive than that Like there needs to be maybe some rewards or achievements you can work towards with your club like every other Supercell game I know I've talked about this a lot has stuff where there are clans can either donate with each other, like clan rewards that you all work towards or something like that. Maybe have club activities where you need you try and get this amount of trophies to unlock boxes for everyone to open or special boxes, special things, something. Some sort of initiative to add into clubs or maybe even donating PowerPoints, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Something more initiatives to add clubs to people use them. <laughs> I would also love to see some more crossover skins like what I mean by crossover skins is maybe like a warrior from Boom Beach. Uh, we already have the wizard Barley from Brawl Stars, or <laughs> from Brawl Stars, from Clash Royale and Clash of Clans. We also do, do now have the Hog Rider Carl, which I absolutely love these. So I want to see more crossover skins in the game. I think it makes a whole lot of sense. And I feel like these are probably one of the, and we also have the Mortis one as well, Night Witch Mortis. But I think more of this, maybe even like, maybe have some Heyday skins in here, maybe even have some Boom Beach skins. That would be crazy. I love anything cross-platform or class, like crossing worlds. So I would love to see more stuff like this. And then getting into more game modes, I want to see Capture the Flag and I want to see one more ticket event. Or just, oh, I always, I always think they're working on those, but I would love to see some more. And then if you guys know who Ash is, he's a competitive Brawl Stars player. Uh, pro level it has a ton of gameplay just search ash brawl stars and you will see his youtube channel but he made up a great idea for a game mode which is i think this would be great for ticketed is where we have two 3v3 teams and each team has like a vip brawler or like a kind of like a mini boss brawler um similar to like big game where there's one boss brawler but each team has one and the first team to take care of or beat the enemy's VIP brawler, which they have like boosted health, more damage and stuff, so they're a little bit hard to kill. But the first team to take out the other person's boss brawler is the winner. I think that'd be really cool. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily a long game mode, it could be short, but anything like that, it could be like best of three rounds if you want, if it's a very quick taking out the brawlers, but I think that would be awesome. I really I really like that that game mode idea. So now you guys may be asking yourself, when is this next update gonna be? When can we expect it? When can we see the brawl talk? All this stuff. This requires a little bit of backstory. If you guys did not know, I know I've talked about this a lot. Uh, the developer team has their month break in like July and then they, they got back just recently. Um, they do it every year. Uh, it's, I think it's mandatory in Finland for them to have like almost a month break. Uh, so yeah, they just got back from that. So now I believe they are actively working on the next update, maybe starting and finishing stuff that didn't make it into the previous updates. So we should probably see the next update, I would say end of August slash beginning of September, because usually it takes, usually we've been getting updates monthly and now that they're back in their offices. So I would say probably less likely end of August, most likely beginning to mid September. Uh, and we probably obviously get a brawl talk I would say probably end of August, uh, end of August if it's mid or early September. So that's when I would keep your eyes open for that. Frank said, excited about the future, so much cool stuff brewing. So when he says that and he says he's excited, I'm excited. Uh, and he said so much cool stuff brewing, that means they're probably actively working on stuff, trying to think of cool next ideas. So probably I would say mid-September is when we'll probably see this update. That is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know if you guys agree with some of the ideas or some things that you would like to see in the update and everything else like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later.